Good morning, everyone. My name is Ariana, and I'm happy to present my idea called Flexive to fitness industry professionals. Flexive is reinventing workout industry by providing personalized application, individual workout space, as well as equipment at hand. Think of Flexive as a WeWork, but for fitness. In reality, people in New York City can't afford multiple fitness subscriptions. They often find themselves choosing between Pilates, yoga, public gyms, etc. With a market valued at $32 billion, people should have choice, privacy, at an affordable cost without straining their finances. In terms of competition, our main competitor right now is ClassPass. They are doing something similar because they provide credits that you can utilize across New York City and various fitness studios. However, they don't provide the privacy that we do. We differentiate because we provide that all-in-one experience. So you don't only have the individual space, but also all the content provided. There's already so many free resources available, and we want to utilize that and give people space to complete those. We are currently asking for $500,000 in exchange for 30% equity to launch the app that's already been built out and open our studio that we rented out in Midtown Manhattan. We also will use this funding to sustain our operations. As I've mentioned before, we've identified a strategic gap where there's an underserved market of women in their early to mid-20s. They are unable to have a diversified workout routine because they do have to choose between various subscriptions. They often vary from $180 to $250, and people should have a choice to work out with the diversity at a lower cost. As I mentioned, we don't really want people to have that choice. We want people to have as much content as available. The alternatives are on-demand services. They are a great cost-effective um, alternative. They are very low cost, cost usually $15 to $20 per month for an application. But again, people that share spaces where they can't afford a bigger apartment can utilize that space to use that free resource. Additionally, public gyms are also a great um, cost-effective source. They are also on a cheaper price, usually varying from $50, $60, $70 up. However, people, especially women in that range um, of age, don't have the privacy that they want. They often feel self-conscious or they just don't feel safe and secure in that environment. Lastly, ClassPass, our main competitor, is also a great opportunity. However, they don't have that privacy that a lot of people seek, and they do seem to be very complex and frustrating and often end up on a costly price. In terms of depreciation and value proposition, we do have those three products, so three features of our product. The personalized application, that's going to also be embedded with machine learning. So it is going to take your data input and also history that you provide to generate ideas for you based on what you, your preference. So it is going to suggest the next workout. It is going to suggest a workout routine that's tailored to your specific needs and wants. Additionally, we are going to have that individual workout space. We are going to rent out a studio and split it into a few different rooms, and those rooms are going to be dedicated for certain workouts. So you're going to have a room for Pilates, yoga, mat workouts, etc. They're going to have more of a weightlifting room. There's going to be basic equipment, nothing too crazy. And lastly, there's going to be a cardio room as well with a treadmill and, and a spin bike. And again, we're going to provide all the necessary equipment. We don't want people to carry their mats or carry a lot of equipment with them. They, we want everything to be there at whatever convenience at hand without any additional fee. In terms of our focus, we are focusing on three core values. And those three core values is reducing anxiety, reducing complexity, and also providing accommodation and affordability. Overall, we really want to provide a complete and embarrassment-free experience. In terms of an opportunity, the US market at the moment for fitness is $32 billion. And out of that $32 billion, $4 million is in New York City itself. I have a further breakdown of our customer um, opportunity as well in my appendix, if anything, one is interested in more details about that. In terms of competition, we are facing competition from ClassPass, but additionally, we do have competition from public gyms and studios across the city itself, and also free alternatives. So a lot of people like to run, bike, maybe they don't even need the space to begin with. However, we are focusing on differentiating from ClassPass because they are the closest to us in their business model. They are, again, you can purchase the credits and use it for various different studios across New York City. So you actually can do Pilates one day and then go to the gym the next day. But I myself used it, and I found it very frustrating and very complex because some studios take more credits, some studios take less credits, and you really have to figure out and calculate where you want to go, when you want to go to, and how many credits you want to sacrifice. I found myself purchasing even more credits because I ran out, and it ended up being more costly than even going to a gym like Equinox that also provides those kind of services. In terms of differentiation, again, this is an all-in-one membership. We want everyone to have everything at hand. We don't want people to carry any equipment. We don't want them to be frustrated. We don't want to have any complexity. All we want is for people to sign up for our service, generate their profile, 
fill out our questionnaire and their previous history and their preference, book the workout, show up, complete it, and go home. No complexity, everything simple. They can also track their progress when they go home. If they are using any smart devices like Aura Ring or Harbing Monitor or Apple Watch or any other wearables, they can put that data into our application based on their results and they will also track the progress and use it for machine learning as well to generate new ideas for you. In terms of our go-to-market, we are a business to customer service with a three-tier subscription-based model. We want people to have choice even in terms of pricing. So the first tier is unlimited. People can book as many hours during the week or the month that they want. It will also come with our personalized application as well. Secondly, we have an hourly rate. If people don't think they're gonna use Flexit more than four times a week or even three times a week, they can book it by an hour. We have an hourly rate as well, so we, they can just go and book it for an hour one week. If they don't wanna utilize it for another three weeks, they don't have to. Lastly, we have an app only. This is a great revenue alternative as well because there's gonna be a higher chance of getting bigger customer base with our, our own app only application as well. So they won't have access to our physical studio, but they will have access to a centralized application where we provide the content from various different subscriptions so they can have everything in one. In terms of our social media, we are going to be on more onboarding via link. So we are mostly focusing on social media and email marketing because we believe that branding and marketing is more important for our business model than purely cold calling sales. We do really want to differentiate and emphasize our branding and emphasize those core values that I mentioned, which is reducing anxiety and really feeling comfortable in your environment and the safe space that we provide. We are going to be launching in New York City as we believe this is the best market for people that don't have that private space within their apartments. And we are going to do a phased approach. So we do want to open up more studios within New York and then we want to expand to other cities like Boston or LA. Here's a little summary of the profit and loss cash. So as you can see, we do reach 1 million revenue by year three, and we also have positive profit margin and positive profit by year two already. Lastly, we have a positive closing cash by year three, which is very positive outcome. In terms of success factors, we do really need to focus on business partnerships. Those people are going to provide us with the content. So it's all going to be YouTube creators, it's going to be people that post fitness content on Instagram. It's also going to be renowned platforms like Core Power Yoga, Solid Core, Rumble, SoulCycle, you name it. There's so many of them. We will reach out to those partnerships and we want to utilize the content that they already have and put it on a centralized application. In terms of risk analysis and having risk factors, it is a very competitive market. There is a high barrier to entry because everyone is very self-conscious. We have been seeing that shift towards mindfulness and having a healthy lifestyle, and people have been focusing on that even more. We can even see that employees are providing more alternatives because they see that there is a positive link to burnout and physical activity. Even grocery stores are providing you with multiple organic options, and the same is with fitness. There's more studios opening every day. There's more innovative products coming out to the market, so there is a high entry um, barrier to entry there. We are asking for $500,000 for 30% equity share. We have already fundraised $500,000 itself. $20,000 were my own investment as a founder. I invested in the company to begin with to get it started, and then we also found an angel fund that provided $300,000. That additional funding, like I mentioned, is going to be mainly used for launching the application and opening the studio that we already found in Manhattan. And we are also going to use it mainly to reach out to those content creators to have more renowned partnerships with us. We are also going to continue onboarding customers, getting that acquisition rate higher. And we're also going to focus on that branding and marketing as we really need to drive our value proposition and the differentiation to have chance um, in, to challenge our competitors. That is it for now. Thank you so much for your attention, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Sure. Can you explain to me a little bit more about how you plan to differentiate yourself clearly to the marketplace from all the myriad of different options that already exist? Yeah, for sure. I actually have a little differentiation detail, too. But so usually we have either on-demand services where you can complete your workout at home and that's purely online where you have to kind of find your own space to do it. And then you have actual in-person studios where you have to sign up for a monthly membership most likely or buy like a, a class pack if you wish. We are trying to blend those two together to provide you with all in one. So if you are not comfortable working out at your own home in front of three roommates because your workouts look ridiculous and you really want to have that private space, Flexive is that service for you or if you don't like sharing your gym equipment at the gym. We are having a limited you know, equipment. Obviously, we can't just build out a whole gym, but we do have basic equipment that you can use for an hour yourself, and that can even be more efficient for you because you don't have to 
be conscious of people around you. That is your space, that is your seclusion. It's very private and peaceful, and we want to differentiate by actually focusing on those values of reducing anxiety, providing everything pretty much in a centralized application as well. So we really want to blend two options you already have at hand into one. Um, kind of a practical question, you know, maybe for a, a younger <laughs> class or something like this, you know, how much would you pay for what you think is a, is a safe place today with the options that we have today? And how much would you pay in your, in your business? So I'm actually enrolled in a yoga membership and I am paying over $180 a month and I can only do yoga. So it, they don't provide any other alternatives. I can't just you know choose to go to Pilates next day. With Flexive, we are offering also 180 per month, but you have all the diversity that you want. So you don't have to find yourself choosing or paying few on-demand services even. Even if you have a $20 on-demand service, but you want to have two of them because they're two different things, you end up paying 40 per month and that adds up. So we want to have everything in one for that one price. So it is still on a pricey side. It is cheaper than our competitors, but you do actually get more within that. So, and I, the 180 is with a discount. So that's also on the lower side. <laughs> Thank you. So the fitness industry is huge. It's, um, how do you plan to brand your product? So we really want to focus on, hopefully it doesn't sound too bad, but like very aesthetically pleasing, going actually after our target market of women in their early to mid 20s and really advertise and brand our value of bringing the peace and reducing anxiety. Because we think that those three values actually are not advertised anywhere else. People, especially women, don't feel safe or secure in those spaces. So when we do marketing and branding through social media, eventually influencers moving on in the future. We really want to differentiate by putting emphasis on those values so people can really understand what our business is. But we do find that our target market is mostly on social media, so we do want to go there. We want to make it very aesthetically pleasing, more towards women, especially younger ones, more a little tech savvy, um, just so we can actually reach them and provide very detailed and simple explanation of what Flexive is so they don't get confused by it or they, they don't understand. I, do actually have some marketing um, demos if you would like to see those um, as well. And then we have one more question for you. Yes. I'll wait if you're pulling up the, uh, the videos, because I would find it. Sorry, the, the format is a little thing, but that's um, an Instagram post. This is what the text we would um, put up on there. I know it's a little um, more lengthy to read right now, but it really just puts emphasis on a value that you can break a sweat without breaking your finances and also making it more directed. I, ha I have a few more. Um, this is the second one. And that would be, for example, a Facebook post. So what I'm understanding, at least from my, from my perspective, yes. is that you're, you might be accomplishing two things. One, you're going to create your own studio, or maybe it's three. Two, you'll be able to have the same kind of passes to be able to work with other studios. And three, a work from home a workout from home portion. Yes. I understand. Yes. We don't do other studios. We can you can only come to our studio, but you can get online content from other studios, from other on demand services. So you can't choose to go to any other studio because that's what ClassPass already does and they partner with studios so we can actually attend their classes. We want to just utilize the free online content they already built out and put it on our application and you can do it out of your own time. I see. And what kind of subscription models do you have I mean, in terms of the revenues that you Yes, so we actually, the first unlimited one would be 180 per month. The second one for hourly, that would be $20 per hour and we would increase it by year three. And then the app only would be $25 um, per month just so we can have everything in one. And you'd say these would be, like for example, personal trainers? Fitness. Yes, so we actually did even include personal trainers in it as well because personal trainers, if they have their own clientele, they don't have to go to gyms. They can just rent out our room, bring their client and complete that workout as well. And that actually expands our customer base as well. So we can actually include those in our customer acquisition. Thank you. I think that's our five minutes of questions. So thank you. Very much. Thank you.